Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Trek Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in this morning. So this morning we've got a used trailer that we're going to walk you through. Now, we do get some trade-ins and we do buy trailers. So if you're looking to upgrade into something, we can help you out there. Or if you've got a trailer sitting around you want to turn into some cash, we'll be more than willing to take a look at that and make an offer on that trailer. So behind me is a 2013 Platinum Four Horse Gooseneck, a using trailer. This is a trailer we bought. Uh, they just didn't need this trailer anymore. We're looking to get into a living quarters. Uh, so we ended up buying this trailer because they already had money on something else. So we got this trailer in. Now when we look at them and bring them into our, uh, our lot here, there's a couple things we do to these used trailers that I'll walk you through and, and I'll talk to you as we work along. But we have a chassis shop here that this trailer goes through. So the very first thing we do is usually go give it an acid wash, give it a good bath, really clean it up, because then it's a lot easier to assess everything as well. Uh, after that, we take a look at tires. Now, this customer put a brand new set of tires on it that I'll show you the date codes on it as we walk around this, but uh, they had put them on here fairly recently, and again, I'll show you that date code, and they even upgraded to 14 ply tires on this. So we want them all to match, we want them all to have good tread, and we all want them to be within five years of that DOT code. If they don't meet any of those requirements, or all of them, then we just replace the whole set. But this one we didn't have to worry about. We realign these trailers. They're no different passenger vehicles. They can get knocked out of alignment. Rough roads, bumps, uh, potholes, curbs. We don't mean to curb them, but it does happen from time to time, and we'll create bad tire wear. Uh, so what we want them is we want them to run down the road straight, so we, we realign them. We'll actually take a picture of when we put it on the machine versus after the adjustments. And we keep records of that just so we have it. And if you want to see it, we'll be glad to show it, with, show it to you. Um, but then we go through the rest of the trailer. We want everything to function correctly. Uh, you know, we want drop windows to, to drop. We want dividers to close. We want them to close very easy. We don't want them us to have to slam them multiple times or pick them up and then slam them. Everything has to operate smooth. We do these type of things so when you make this purchase, you can go enjoy this trailer rather than having uh, things that need adjusted or fixed on the trailer itself. So we put them through a pretty vigorous uh, service department and our checklist as far as that goes. Now, again, it's a 2013 Platinum, so it's all aluminum construction. It's 21 foot on the floor, seven and a half foot wide, and seven foot tall. Underneath the gooseneck here, pretty simple. You just see a single leg, manual crank jack. You know, this gooseneck drop wall is not beat up at all. I mean, it's, of course, it's a used trailer. You're gonna see a little scuff and dings and dents here and there, but you know, it's not beat up. It's, so it doesn't really look like it saw, uh, you know, dirt and gravel roads all the time uh, by any means there. It's the white sheeting. It does have some graphics on it. As we get into it here, you're gonna jump into a front dressing room. Now, I'll show you here in a little bit, but there is a folding rear tack room on this. So you have the capability to move the saddle rack that's located in the folding rear tack right now up to this front dressing room. But if you're in a scenario where, hey, I don't want any of my tack up here, I want it all in the back, I don't wanna smell it, Maybe I want to throw a mattress or a bedroll, sleeping bags up here. You're not having to smell those items. Uh, but if you decided you wanted to move it up or even add a second post with additional saddle racks, your hardware is right here on the floor and then it attaches up here on the roof. So it's very easy to move from back there up here or vice versa or even going in and adding a second one. Now I would suggest working with Platinum uh, just because they have the correct materials, they understand the height, on where this is located and, and getting that taken care of. We could add that, um, but there is some freight when it comes to the parts and then obviously buying the parts. Carpeted the partition wall here, bridle hooks up there. You know, this front dressing room is really kind of a blank canvas for you. You can do a lot of things. Uh, because the door is on passenger side and a good size short wall right here, a four foot short wall, you know, you've got a lot of room in this front tack room to do a lot of things. Maybe you want to add some cabinets. Maybe you want to try to do a line and insulate. It is framed for an AC unit. You'd have to put a power pack, you know, 30 amp breaker package to the trailer. 
but it is framed for it, so that part of it's already done. Now what's cool is, is this trailer definitely has some upgrades on it. One of the first things is, if we look here on, on uh, passenger side on the hip wall, most of the time you'll see bus windows, where this actually has the drop windows. So we have drop windows on head side and tail side. You just get a lot of airflow. This trailer came from Texas. You know, we aren't dealing with the heat and humidity that those southern states do. Uh, up here in Colorado, I mean, we get some warm days, but it cools off at night. I mean, again, we're not having to deal with that humidity. So you'll notice a lot more bus windows on, on trailers we have up here. Uh, but with that being said, again, this one's got the drop windows, so a lot of airflow through it. You've got a load light, a pedestal light up there, so you can manipulate where that light coverage is coming from. With it being 7.6 wide, you're going to have a little bit of running board on each side of the trailer. 6,000 pound rubber torsion axles. And then those are the steel wheels with simulators on them. Again, 14 plies on them. Now, when we're talking about the date code on these, it is a DOT date code on these tires. Now, it's a little bit silly, but the tire manufacturers only put this DOT code with the date code on one side. So if we don't see them on the outside of the trailer, they're on the inside. And then what you gotta do is you gotta crawl underneath there and hope the tire you just crawled underneath that the date code's down low for you to see. It might be up top where you can't see it, so then you gotta keep working around. But this date code right here, what we always look for, and we look for on trades, is of course we wanna see tread wear, but we wanna see these last four digits, and they will be numbers. So if you see this 45 of 20, these tires were manufactured 45 of 20, so the 45th week of 2020. So probably by the time they were manufactured, they went from their plant to the tire facility and put on this trailer, you know, I mean, it could have been a, a six month lap there. I mean, that does happen, but really nice set of tires. I'm glad they put 14 plies on it. Um, when we look at building a trailer for a customer, one of the very first things I do is look at the tires and if I feel like it needs to be upgraded, I just go ahead and do it. It's a, it's a very small investment, uh, but again, you'll be a lot happier with a little bit he heavier duty tire underneath the trailer itself. <laughs> now, as we get to the back here, we've got uh, 60, 40 door. So our 60% is on the right, 40% is on the left. So we have a little bit bigger opening for horses getting in and out. And then there's that folding rear tack. Now, you see that center post there. That center post does remove. So if, if you needed to have that folded down, need a little bit bigger opening, we can remove that and then reinstall it to shut our back doors. But really well equipped back here, brush tray on the door, four tier blanket pole rack that swings out, four tier saddle rack post, and then some additional hooks in there. Again, we can easily remove that, take it up to the front dressing room. And then when we get in here to this stall area, you know, you can see a little wear and tear. It's a used trailer. We're not gonna tell you it's, it is not. It is used, but again, we try to go through these trailers as best we can. Solid dividers, padded dividers. So you've got pads on each side. They even put a pad on this back corner here of the folding rear tack. They do have some snaps, so you can snap these out of the way and hold them open for you but you've got your kick mats on the tail side. Since it is 7.6 wide, you're gonna notice there is some wheel well in here. That's, that's what happens when you go from, uh, a lot of manufacturers will call their trailer seven foot wide. If there's no wheel well on the inside, typically if you put a tape measure to it, it's gonna measure between six nine and three quarters to six foot 10. Now there are some six foot nine trailers out there, six foot eight wide type of scenarios. But on these type of trailers, when we get in these axle sizes, no wheel well, you're typically in that 6.9 to 6.10. Again, a lot of manufacturers will call it seven foot. This one's 7.6, so you have a little bit of that, that wheel well there. Again, as we open these up and work forward, stud divider at this first stall here. So maybe you wanna use it for some additional storage. Or if you're hauling 
four horses, you got somebody you need to kind of keep a little bit more separated, a little bit more isolated, it's good for that first stall. But it is just the extension. So you see the, the hinges here. Again, you know, we look at adjusting all these. We want them to be nice and smooth. We don't like, it, when, when you're loading a horse, unloading a horse, last thing we want to do is have a horse kind of pushing back on us. If we're having to drop a pin into one of those type of dividers, we like these slam latches for safety for you and the horses. You've got some LED lights in here. Again, aluminum roof. You've got two-way roof fence. You've got four of them, so one above each horse. You've got a head pad as you come out as well. Load light at the back, so additional load light. Now, if you prefer rear ramps, you want dual purpose for this trailer, maybe on a four-wheeler, a toy, anything like that, we can remove the rubber bumper and actually put a ramp over this trailer. We could add a hay rack. There's some things that we can always do to these trailers after the fact. You want a hydraulic jack, we can do it. We can do that air conditioner with the power package. We can do corner water tanks. You know, we can upgrade a lot of this stuff after the fact. So just because this is the way it is, doesn't mean that's, that's the way you have to leave with the trailer. We can definitely kind of tweak it and make it your own. Now this trailer with it being seven, six wide, again, here's another upgrade that they did was that it's mangers. So you have two doors. You've got the smaller door above your wheel wells. And I really like these big doors if you can on these type of trailers. So, you know, in a, if you do this in a three horse, you're really limited uh, because you're gonna have an escape door. You can do two doors with the smaller, but I really like this big door for just additional items. Uh, maybe you wanna carry an additional spare or bags of feed you wanna set in there. It's a lot easier in these bigger doors getting to that stuff rather than having to crawl in uh, and dealing with the wheel wells and, and down in there. But you do have lights in there as well. So you got a lot of additional storage on this trailer by having those mangers. Nice solid seal and shut to everything. Again, we look at doing all those adjustments. You've got your jail bars that fold down as well. And then these heavy duty drop windows. They, you know, a nice solid seal to them and shut to them. Welded hinges on these by platinum and then drip rails above the doors and above the windows. So we're not getting moisture getting into those, those frames and freezing overnight. And then again here at uh, the first stall, you've got an escape door. So again, maybe you do want to use that for some additional storage if you're uh, traveling and you're not hauling forehead. You know, you've got the capability to throw some stuff in there and then that stud divider is going to help stuff from going underneath horses in transit. Chest bar with pad there as well. Uh, but again, just a very well equipped, you know, using four horse with some extras on it, that additional storage, that additional width, you know, all the drop windows, it does make a big difference. Um, whether this is just a run around for you, maybe you've got a bigger LQ or this is your trailer you're going to work out of a lot. Again, you've got kind of a blank canvas up there in that front dressing room and then that folding rear tack. So I'm going to give you the stock number on this trailer just for reference. Again, it's a 2013 Platinum Coach Four Horse Gooseneck. Stock number is 5U220081. So again, we do take trade-ins. We do buy trailers. So if you're looking to upgrade, if you're looking for something used, these used trailers are going extremely fast right now. So if there's something specific you're looking for, give us a call. Uh, we hear it time and time again when we just wrapped up with the stock show not that long ago and we heard it time and time again of, hey, I'll just keep an eye on your website. Well, that's good. We want you to keep an eye on the website, but these trailers are coming in so fast and selling so fast that maybe, maybe we're buying it or trading it and we're already marketing it to the next person and already taking a deposit on it and somebody's already got their name on it. So give us a call. Give us a rundown of what you're looking for, your budget and then we can kind of keep an eye out for you or we can even go look for the trailer for you and see if we can help you out there. But then that way we can call you and say, hey, we got something coming in, you know, similar to this Platinum that you just missed out on, but you know, here's an option or obviously we can look at new. So anybody on the sales team can help you out and that number to call is 303-684-3400. We appreciate you tuning in. Have a good day.